welcome. Today, I just wanted to do a really quick video to show how I have some of the controls um, on my Quest 2 controller uh, bound to various uh, functions. I've had a couple questions recently related to how I am able to manipulate the knobs, especially the push and the pull actions on the knobs in the various Airbus aircraft, uh, like the INI builds 310 that we're sitting in now. And this would also apply to the Phoenix uh, 320, the fly-by-wire 320 Neo. Um, and it also applies to some of the other uh, uh, aircraft that have the G1000, uh, some of the knobs in the um, some of the default aircraft with the G1000 system have knobs that not only have a, you know, a, the ability to, to turn them, um, but also uh, the ability to press them in. I think that cursor knob on the, on the uh, G1000. So this would, uh, would apply there too. A lot of people struggle with this with the Oculus manipulators and um, hopefully this will help you out a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to bind uh, an action that will allow you to um, scroll up and down uh, or turn knobs up and down instead of having to uh, physically squeeze the trigger and twist your wrist. It's actually a trick that you can use to bind uh, a, um, a control on the manipulator that will allow you to just turn up and down. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me pop up the uh, settings page here. I'm going to try to lean in so you can see this in VR. I tried to do all these in VR. So I'm just going to go to controls options and then we're going to select uh, the, uh, I only use the right touch controller. So we'll just select the right touch controller. And then you can see over here, I'm going to try to lean in a little bit more here too. Um, I've got VR uh, and this stuff is pretty, I think, standard. I, I don't change these. Um, the um, uh, ray cast, you know, basically enabling the laser pointer or hiding it. Um, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, the real magic is in the in the miscellaneous section. Here's what I do. So number one, this cockpit interaction, rather the the trigger, the whoops, the main uh, the main control here on the on the manipulator is the trigger. By default, it's bound to something else. I think it's like something right. What you want to do is you want to bind the trigger to cockpit interaction primary action. So make a copy of your default and, and, and you know create a new profile. Bind the trigger to cockpit interaction primary action. Um, and this will uh, also eliminate the issue that you have where if you are, let me go back here actually, if you're in VR and you don't have the trigger bound, to the primary cockpit interaction, what'll happen is, even if you set everything up correctly for your push and your pull, it will stop working after, it's actually kind of random when it stops working. You, you have to do this. You have to bind the uh, trigger to the uh, uh, primary cockpit interaction. So um, that is essential. If you don't do that, none of this other stuff is going to work or it will work and, and you'll be happy for about 30 seconds and then it will stop working. So number one, bind cockpit interaction, primary action to the trigger. Uh, number two, bind the, it's the squeeze uh, control. It's that button that kind of your, uh, I guess it's your middle finger rests on with the manipulator. Um, bind that to cockpit interaction secondary action and that's going to be the push action now it's weird on my system it, it actually it says system <laughs> uh, but if you search for an input so you hit this and then you actually click the control uh, on, on your you know click the hardware control on your manipulator it, it's the it's that squeeze trigger uh, and that will then bind to the secondary action which again is the it's the press action then what you want to do is bind uh, cockpit interaction tertiary action to the thumbstick and that's the press action of the thumbstick not the up and down it's when you press the thumbstick so that um, it's a little counterintuitive at first that that will actually pull the knob out so you're going to have the squeeze trigger to push the thumbstick to pull 
Uh, and then the, the, the trigger is just, uh, um, the, again, the primary, like the click action. Um, here's what you can do if you want to be able to, um, without actually twisting your wrist like this to turn dials and things like that, you can bind the up and the down action of the thumbstick to cockpit interaction increase and cockpit interaction decrease. And make sure you check the reverse axis uh, for, because it's, it's, the, it's the same thumbstick, it's the thumbstick Y axis. So for the increase, just bind it to thumbstick Y. For cockpit interaction decrease, bind it to thumbstick Y, but tick the reverse axis. So you can see how when I move up, I move down, they move in opposite directions. So what that will do, so let me kind of let my view set here for a second in case you all want to just kind of look at this or you know, I guess I can, can try to put a screenshot of this in there too. Um, so what that lets you do here, this is the primary action. Here's the push, this is squeezing the, the, the squeeze trigger, push. Here's the thumbstick, pull. And here's the cockpit interaction increase cockpit interaction decrease. Well, I hope that helped out folks. I hope, uh, you know, the short video, um, you know, a lot of you had questions about this. I hope that helped you out. Um, hopefully that will help you set up your uh, VR uh, controller to, uh, to, you know, help you have a better VR experience in, uh, in any aircraft, uh, but specifically the, uh, the Airbus uh, series with the uh, uh, push pull knobs. So um, that's it for me. I uh, hope you all have a great day. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like. Uh, and if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share it with others who may be interested in uh, VR. So that's it for me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.